Hi, I'm a global runner and I'm back in Canmore, Alberta, having run the Montreal Marathon seven days ago. Those who watched last week's video will know that I ran 2.39 for the Montreal Marathon, which wasn't the day I wanted, but I'm still very proud of the effort. And I'm still aiming for my goal of going under 2.30 in the marathon, aged 50. In this video, I'm going to take you through what I've done since the marathon, as well as looking forward to what's next. So it's been seven days since Montreal and I've actually done more than I would do ordinarily. Some marathons actually crush my legs and I feel like I can't run at all and I don't actually run for weeks and weeks. But this wasn't one of those marathons. Actually, my legs held up pretty well. And so I've been focusing on getting some movement back. So I've been doing some mobility exercises to make sure that I've got enough movement through my upper body and my legs. I've been doing a little bit of bike training and I've also been getting out for some jogs. I mean, even the day after the marathon, I went to the uh, Mount Royal Park in Montreal uh, just to get a last run in there. And I wasn't too bad. And so I've been doing some very gentle trail runs, untimed, just going out and enjoying myself. But I have been doing more running than I would ordinarily. Okay, so 2025 is going to be the year. I've decided the races that I'm going to do and we're going to go for the big ones. We're going to go for London and New York. So those are the main focuses for next year, 2025, London and New York. But there's got to be a little bit more besides that. Like we can't just use those as the sole focus. And the question is, what am I going to do in addition to London and New York? So if we look at the timeline of London and New York, London is obviously in April and New York is in November. Now I would love to sneak the Comrades Marathon in there as well. So I'm putting that as a bit of a wild card. That's in June. But what that does is that leaves seven months between now and the London Marathon. And so the real question I have is, shall I do a marathon in early December? Or shall I go away, do a load of training, get the base fitness, and then do the London Marathon in April. Now, before you answer that, I need to show you something. So this is where I do most of my training. And I would argue that there is no better place to run this time of year. Like, look at this. This is insane. Cool temperatures, no snow, just amazing. And these are the best months of the year to run. But give it a couple of months at most, and this will be brutal. This will be minus 30 and covered in snow. And so the real question I have is, do I waste all those amazing running months or do I use them? Like training for a spring marathon in Calgary is horrible. You train through the worst of winter. Do I really want to give up these months or do I want to go for a December marathon? So this is where I need your help. Should I do the marathon in December or wait until April? And if I do one in December, which one should I do? Let me know what you think and let me know what your suggestions are as to which marathon you think I should do in December. Thanks for watching and I'll see you on the next one.